2010 when it came out. Or... Is that 2010? Yeah. It, Valentine's Day was terrible. I still count they came together. <coughs> I count that. Oh, yeah. I know it's a sad time. I'm talking about theaters. Like, I went to see Valentine's Day in theaters. You said It was the only thing there. <laughs> Wait, 20, February 2010? You would have had, like, Shutter Island to watch? Or Percy Jackson? There was there was Percy Jackson, and that's weird how you remember that. It's just that that weekend, Percy Jackson was Cause, <laughs> No, because for some reason, that on Box Office Mojo, I obsess over that date. Because, like, that's still one of, like, the highest grossing movies out of February ever. <laughs> Shutter Island wasn't... No, Shutter Island was 09. No, it was right? no, it was delayed to twenty to twenty ten. No, it was right. like early February. Right. I didn't know my movie. Maybe really thinking of, of of Inception. <laughs> it's like Shutter Island's like the better Inception. Yeah, watch it again though. It still holds up. Which one? Shutter Island. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shut Shutter Island is the better yeah. Inception. Yeah. Saying Inception is lesser. Oh okay. Bold statement. Inception. Inception. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I've tried rewatching it, but like I don't, I'm not as engaged as I yeah, was. Yeah, it's time. pretty fun. Even the first time I saw it, I wasn't overly impressed. Yeah, there's like some cool sequences. Yeah, it has nothing to do with training. <laughs> <laughs> I still thought the Perfect Guy trailer was funny. Wait, which which the one? Perfect Guy. Perfect Guy. <laughs> the oh, the trailer for the movie The Perfect Guy. <laughs> I don't know why I cracked up so I don't hard. know either. Like, it was definitely funny. The whole trailer as a whole was funny. And then they show you the bottom of the bed, and you lose it. You're, you were, you were, like, everyone was like, oh, that's kind of amusing. And you lose your shit. And everyone in the theater thought that was funny. They thought that was more funny than the actual trailer. No, because... <laughs> <laughs> Nick and I saw like do you remember No Good Deed with Idris Elba? Yeah. It came out at the same time Nick and I saw that too. And that was hysterical. And I saw the post for, I, I saw the poster for that movie as like I know Nick and I are gonna see that for sure. And then I, this is the first time I saw the trailer. And the way they did that pan <laughs> was hysterical. Cause they they take it like what I love about those movies, like they take it so seriously, it's basically camp. <laughs> The trailers were weird. Yeah. This were meant to come. We had four horror trailers. Yeah. And me... What else we did? We got... Finest, we got alternate timeline, Kirk, and the Coast Guard. Oh, yeah. Whatever that Disney thing is. I think that was the only non-horror thing we got. No, we had, like, maybe one or two others. Did we have a romantic comedy? No, we got Sisters. <laughs> yeah. I think that, that was, was it. it. That was the only lighthearted thing we got. Everything else was. We got Green Inferno. Green Inferno, Crimson Peak, a weird version, of the a weird ass gift trailer. Oh yeah. You thought it was really scary up until they you figured out it was the gift. Yeah, and then I realized that it was the gift, and I laughed. I <laughs> I noticed halfway through because I saw like in one of those yearbook po yearbook photos, it was like Rebecca Hall. It's oh. like oh okay, this this is gonna kind of weird great. thing to remember. Yeah. yeah, that's Rebecca Hall. Oh, this is the gift trailer. Oh it's man, good. I'm gonna see that movie. You're gonna see that? Probably. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> I've seen a lot of worse movies. Like The Perfect Guy. That's basically a black version of Boy Next Door. Bold, you get that's a bold statement to make. Just the you black just... version of this. Well Why don't we just remake everything for another race? I think they've kind of already done that already. I think we've already in, we're already in that stage. I don't want to be in that stage. Anyway, well, we've, anyway, train wreck. It's oh really yeah, funny. the movie that we just saw. It's funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I, uh, That's you, it. You're you're, you're the Amy movie. Schumer expert here. I haven't seen much of Inside Amy Schumer outside of. I've the, seen my fair share of Inside Amy Schumer. I the only like extensive bits of it I've seen was the the food room sketch. I don't think I've seen that. The one where, like, she's making fun of Aaron Sorkin? No, I don't think I've seen that. Oh, that's great. Because, like, in our culture, in our internet culture, it's so easy to, like, notice how easy, how easily it is to make fun of Aaron Sorkin. Oh. <laughs> Just the walk and talks, like, the sort of the character types he does. Yeah. The fact, like, he uses the same line of dialogue, like, over and over again. Yeah. Between different shows or within the same seasons of those shows. This last season, she did uh, tw uh, 12 Angry Men yeah. parody. 
The episode was titled 12 Angry Men Inside Amy Schumer. <laughs> That's probably the best title I've heard yeah. all year. And this movie plays a lot more straight with the romantic comedy than I, than I thought it would. I thought it'd be a little bit more, not re like revolutionary, but a little bit more, not daring. Maybe daring. Yeah. Uh, it does play more with the tropes. Oh. Uh, that's just a little oh. dark. Yeah, it, it does, uh, it, it does fall in line with your, like, your beats. Yeah. Outside uh, of, of, like, the very time. last thing with the cheerleaders and the whole bit of, like, she's making fun of, like, the love montage. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's of, nothing about it is really sort of no twisting anything. No, I think we've also been ruined because we've seen they came together. Yeah, which is just a just tore that entire genre apart. Yeah, well, at least they didn't hear like New York. Okay, maybe New York is like a character because like <laughs> yeah. it is because like it is centered on the team. So never mind, it is okay. Uh. Got point. That movie was good. But like Amy Schumer does a lot of vagina jokes. Yeah. Which, there was a fair share of vagina jokes. Bell Hader makes a lot of goofy faces. Yeah. Bell Hader, I'd date him. Okay, that's weird. Like, it's not that weird. <laughs> like, a guy can date Bill Hader. Yeah. It's kind of weird to say. He's weird. had a great he, year, he, he, and he, he's, like, breaking out of SNL. He's done really well for himself. I'm sure he can do stuff. Hmm. He's got a unique voice. Yeah. Like, like, he has a goofy face, but, like, I love how you, you, can, you can take him seriously. Yeah, yeah. I could take Bill Hader seriously. I could also take him as an old man, like on SNL. He's pretty funny like that. Anyways, the movie that we saw. Is, uh, hold on. Let's see. I want to say, I, let's see. I think this is, it does fall into a lot of the Judd Apatow trips. And that would, the, every act feels like a thousand times, like a thousand hours. You know, I haven't seen that much Apatow. The last I've, seen, Ap I've seen like all his TV stuff. Yeah, I've seen only Knocked Up, and I've Knocked Up that. and Fourth uh, Forty Year Virgin, and then all of his produce a uh, fair amount of his produced stuff. I've I seen, yeah, I've seen. I keep thinking stuff. Bridesmaids is his it is his movie, because now uh, and even though I know Paul Feig, pretty sure he produced it. that though. He did produce yeah. it, yeah. But I feel it's more his movie than it is Paul Feig's. Or Feige. Feige. Feige? I, th I think it's Feig. Feig? Okay. I think you pronounce it's Feig. Paul Feig? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I think Paul Feig is... like that. He's versatile. I think that's Bridesmaids. I think that's his. Okay. Uh, but I've seen I've seen Freaks and Geeks. I've seen Undeclared. I'm familiar with Apatow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty decent Apatow fan. Yeah. This was funny. Uh, I could use it... Yeah, I agree. I says where shows maybe some scenes could have like sh been shortened up a bit. Yeah, uh, some of the gags go for the. It's so long. Yeah. Uh, very few though. Yeah, I, I think um, only the John Cena gag, when they're having sex. Yeah. And maybe like that baby shower scene that went on. Yeah. Maybe because I don't know sports. Like, I would definitely like this movie less if it weren't for Amy Schumer, yeah. Bill Hader, Mike Birbiglia, sure. and, uh, of course, sports sports people. I don't know sports, sports people. I, I don't know them either. I just know them from their comedic roles. I like, I like LeBron James because he's such a different Apatow character, and yeah. like, he's so confident in himself, so, like, everything he says is actually pretty normal. Yeah. Uh, like, they're funny people, and I'll watch a movie if it's decently written yeah. by Amy Schumer, because I like these people, Yeah, I find Amy Schumer funny. Yeah, I don't come to this movie where like, oh, look at that direction. Look at, <laughs> look at the way the camera moves. I, lo I love the way how it just cuts. A no, we don't watch this for that. No. We watch it because we want to have a good, good time. Yeah, a good time. It I was, like these people. They, they're like... If you're gonna do a standard romantic comedy, then at least you can do is do it well. And they did yeah. and it's done very well in this movie. And it's not like like Melissa McCarthy raunchy. She has a she has a genre now. Yeah. There's there's a genre called Melissa McCarthy raunchy. It's it's very uh I th I hope Amy Schumer gets her own brand. 
I mean, not brand, but like genre, and she like gets like movies done. Like, That's good, especially this season, because it's all fa- it's very fa- this like what I've read from the AV Club. Uh-huh. Every episode mu- takes like a feminist stance on something. Yeah, and, she's hilarious. Yeah, we were. I think we were the only like all guy group in the theater, <laughs> and if there were guys, they were either with their girlfriends. <laughs> Or forced there by female friends. Uh, besides that, it was just the whole the whole section that was just like s- like some bridesmaid party. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a bridesmaid party, but it was, there was a lot. <laughs> there were like eight of them. Oh man, you, right until you see like paper town, it's gonna be crazy. I don't want to see that. Okay, you you don't have to. I'm not a Johnny Green fan, mainly because I haven't read anything by Johnny Green. Me neither. So I kind of, I, I, I don't s- care. Like I was like that with the Fallen Our Stars. Like this isn't this is good. I guess he died, sucks, but he has cancer. You can't work around that. <sighs> cancer. What are you gonna do? I just don't care. <laughs> I gotta I gotta try what Bill Hader does in the movie when he's like when she's like I want she's like we're I'm the reporter. You're the the subject. Uh-huh. Keep things fresh. And he's like, well, I think we like each other. Let's oh, go out. Yeah, that was that was original. At least from what I've seen. Yeah. I haven't seen that many romantic comedies, but I yeah. like that. Uh, uh, another one of my what favorite would I parts. Call it, uh, would I call that a female fantasy part? I don't uh, know. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, one of my favorite parts was when Bill Hader's playing basketball with LeBron James. It's like your classic, uh, oh, it's the guys and they're riffing while they're playing <laughs> sports. Like it, like it, And they came together. Yeah, and they came together where they're terrible at, uh, at basketball. Um, it's funnier and they came together because like it, it calls attention to how much they're not making yeah. shots. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like that in here because... It's LeBron James. Because you still had some commentary on on what they're doing. <laughs> because Bill Hader cannot score on LeBron James <laughs> because he's LeBron James. That's a great comment. Uh, I thought that was, that was probably one of my favorite scenes. Oh, I kind of like it with the John Cena like sex scene is like you can see his vein his left vein keep popping out and it's the most <laughs> ridiculous thing ever. That's as big as my arm. Probably. Yeah. He can probably eat you. And they had the weirdest art movie parody in the entire movie. That was so weird that I, I enjoyed that because it was so weird. Yeah. It's Marissa Tomei and Daniel Radcliffe in a movie about walking dogs. That premiered at Sundance. <laughs> That, as John Cena says, it premiered, it premiered at Sundance. I love if you took it so seriously, though. Oh, man, yeah. the reviews, they're great. I, it's just, it doesn't have to be there. It's not, like, they don't commentate on it. Yeah. They just m- made it because, and I, I, I like that. It's so random enough. I wish, like, when, like, I was, if you had LeBron James playing himself, you should have had her date John Cena as John Cena. I know that would break the whole, like, oh, she's not into sports logic, but that'd be, I thought that'd still be pretty funny. It's like, you have Matthew Broderick playing himself, even yeah. though there's no reason for him to be in the movie. That's, that's another thing I, I like. <laughs> I like Matthew Broderick just being there, because everyone else is there, because, like, they're commentators. Yeah, they're, 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 they're sports-related. Yeah, and then it's just Matthew Broderick. And I he's, like that kind of humor. And he's just, like, friends with LeBron James or something. Yeah. It kind of sounded like LeBron called him Roderick, yeah. not Broderick. <laughs> Roderick. He left out the B. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> and you have John Glazer in the movie, and he's like, he can say jam, so he keeps saying blam. Yeah. Uh, I've got a lot of TV comedians. Yeah. Uh, what's his face from Randall Fresh Park? Off, Fresh off the boat. Randall Park. Yeah. It's basically like a. Bu- it's almost. It's sort of like half the rejects from SNL. Not rejects, but like not the people who are fa- quite famous enough yet. Yeah. Because I kept thinking Vanessa Bayer was Abby Elliott. Vanessa Bayer. Wait, yeah. That's, that was Vanessa Bayer. I know, but I kept thinking, like, is her name Allie B. Elliott? Oh. Uh, Leslie Jones. I recognized her. Other people. I was expecting, oh, like, a Bobby Moya, Moya hand or a Kenan Thompson thing. Yeah, but you can only have so many. Tilda Swinton looked great, great though. Yeah, I did not know that it was Tilda Swinton. I know she looks great. I think this is like the eyeshadow or the tan. Yeah, like the 
the tan, the hair, the weird lipstick that they gave her. Uh, it was good. I enjoyed myself. I liked it, yeah. I don't know it was as, as funny as that Perfect Guy trailer, but it is very funny. You... I couldn't help myself. That was probably the funniest thing. <laughs> You've had all week? Yeah. It was so loud. <laughs> I can't help it. it I, a... I I know, but but <laughs> so like, like it didn't it didn't merit like uh, that's a that's an amusing thing in a trailer. No, it was this is the funniest thing I'm gonna see that 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 I ha this is the funniest thing that I've seen all week. This it's, is it's, what, it's what I heard. It's the funniest thing I've seen all summer, honestly. Okay, that's that's what I heard. Cause I haven't left that. I know I know that I haven't left that loud in like at least a year. <laughs> At least like this this year in 2015. So in conclusion, <laughs> bad trailers are as funny as tra or, or train wreck, as great as train wreck is. It's almost as funny. It's almost as funny as, as the perfect guy trailer. A little bit, <laughs> little bit. Which just goes to show, stop making movies like the perfect. Guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's about all we have. Huzzah for Amy Schumer. Huzzah for Amy Schumer. I hope she does. She has to do even more projects like this. Yes. May she live on for a thousand years. Yeah.